Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue à notre premier jour pour la ouverture de notre centre pour des aînés. Welcome everyone to our new drop-in center opening. I'm Mitchell Brownstein, the mayor of Côte Saint Loup, and I'd like to acknowledge the presence, first of all, the presence of Monsieur Ali Hanat, the senior advisor of employment and social development in Canada. Anthony House Father, Member of Parliament. <laughs> David Birnbaum, Member of the National Assembly. Arlene Fagelman, President of Cummings. Dr. Lawrence Rosenberg, President and CEO of West Central Montreal Health. And Mayor William Steinberg, Mayor of Town of Hampstead. Ça, c'est un très bon exemple d'une coopération avec les trois niveaux de gouvernement, fédéral, provincial et municipal, et des organisations pour faire quelque chose de spécial. When we built this aquatic and community center, we wanted it to be a place in Côte St. Luke for people to come and improve their quality of life, have an opportunity to challenge themselves physically and mentally, and leave at the end of the day feeling that they've accomplished something, that they're a better person, that they're happy. Adding this seniors drop-in center for older people is absolutely perfect, and the location is outstanding. We built a place with a room inside, and I want to thank Claude Hamel and all the blue collars for adding on the spirit of things that we built this outdoor facility so that the participants can be a part of what's going on in the community. See others working out on the equipment over there, kids playing at the pool, teenagers in the gym, older people, seniors in our men's club and our ladies club, and then these individuals who are members of our community or our neighbors having a, a better quality of life because they have an opportunity to come here and enjoy a day of activities in a multi-general, multi-generational facility. We're looking at next year putting in some gardening opportunities for the users to be able to garden outside. And we hope that there will be a lot of activity between our youth and the individuals that are using this facility. So we're really very excited about being able to continue to fill, fulfill our mission in Code St. Luke of servicing everybody of all ages, from our youngest to our oldest members. And uh, I'd like to thank all of those that were involved in making this happen. It didn't happen by itself, obviously. I want to thank our Member of Parliament for obtaining the grant necessary to, to have this happen. Thank you so much, Anthony. And for all those that I've already acknowledged working together with us to make this happen, and each one of them will speak today for a couple of minutes. I'll introduce them one at a time. Um, so thank you all for coming and for being a part of this very special day. And uh, I'd like to now Pass the microphone over to our Member of Parliament, Anthony Housefather. You know, there are days in, in people's lives when you appreciate why you went into public service. And this is one of those days. Because this is a project that has meant an awful lot to me and to so many others. There's a lot of people out there that are cynical about politics. They wonder what you can actually accomplish. And this, just like this building next door, the Aquatic and Community Center that our council built in partnership with the provincial and federal governments, this day center is yet another example of how three levels of government, how a nonprofit, how our health board, and how so many others can work together in order to actually create something concrete for the community. Last year, a number of people sitting here today, and I'll single out Sharon Friedman, came to me and told me that we had a real problem in this community. We had more and more senior citizens who needed care, and their caregivers needed respite. It's a really, really tough burden, whether you're a spouse or a child or a grandchild, to be a primary caregiver. And those five or six hours in the day when you can get away to do shopping, to go to the gym, to go to work, without feeling burdened by the weight on your shoulders that something might happen, 
is an incredibly important thing for those many people in this community who are caregivers. And this center allows them to be freed of that burden for those five or six hours knowing that they'll have quality care for their loved one and at the same time they can go out and do their own thing. And that, in terms of mental status need, in terms of physical health, is just so important. So I'm so appreciative of the incredible work of Pam Orzek, who worked on the grant like a champion, Julian Mesner, Francine, Christine, and all of the people from the CIUSSS um, who helped us. Um, Dr. Rosenberg will be speaking shortly. All of the people from the city of Cote St. Luke. This whole project started when I was mayor of Cote St. Luke. I want to thank our new mayor, Mitchell Brownstein, and all of the members of the council who were so involved in creating this project. My colleague, David Birnbaum, who worked with me throughout the process on this project together with his staff. Bill Steinberg, the mayor of Hampstead, who's always been a strident supporter of this project and who's contributing to it with his town council. And all of the people who fought to make this happen. Et je suis, j'en ai une énorme appréciation aussi pour M. Ali Ahanad qui est ici aujourd'hui, qui travaille pour le gouvernement du Canada, qui était instrumental dans le fait qu'on a reçu presque 400 000 dollars pour trois ans pour ce programme. Merci beaucoup, M. Ahanad. So for all those of you who leave today, when somebody tells you the government doesn't work, please use this as one of the examples of how it actually does. Thank you, Anthony. And now I'd like to call upon our member of the National Assembly, David Birnbaum. It's a pleasure to be here in this beautiful day to celebrate the opening of this center. We hear very often uh, that it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it looks like in the 21st century it's going to take an entire community to care for our seniors. And that's how it should be, with every partner playing his role or her role. You have a perfect example of that kind of synergy here. Um, and there are so many partners, so many whose names have been mentioned. I do want to sing, single out one who made sure that this project happened. Uh, everyone that was mentioned played their role. But I think it's important to note, Anthony, the role you played in making sure that La Relève était au monde. Quand on parle d'une communauté dans son entier, voilà l'exemple. J'espère et je crois que notre gouvernement a semé le terrain. On parle euh, tout récemment de quelques euh, 22 millions de dollars pour euh, soins domicile, qui s'ajoute de nombreux 50 millions qui a, a été annoncé au mois de juin. Tout le monde est au courant du fait que nous avons besoin d'être au rendez-vous. We have to be there for our seniors. And as was noted, what is so significant about this service, each of us in our families has dealt with this. For those who need the care, the most important Part of that care is the loved ones around them. Those loved ones, their health, their well-being is essential in order for them, first of all, to live their full lives, but to be there for the people they care so deeply for who are in need. And that's what this center is all about. Alors, quelle belle journée de voir la, uh, uh, que ce projet uh, a porté fruit pour être ici ensemble pour célébrer son ouverture and to know that we will all be there to make it work. So long life to this new center and all of those who will benefit from it. Yes. Thank the coming center for really running this program. It's going to take place in Coast City, but it's their staff that are going to make this happen. Thank you. The center coming is very happy to be a partner. Thank you. Centre-Ouest de l'Île de Montréal, the Ville de Hampstead, the Caregiver Network, and Worth We are grateful to the federal government for the three-year New Horizon Senior Program Grant to fund the Drawing Center. And Ali Hanak, one of the senior grant officers, for his support here today. I would also like to acknowledge Erica Bachner, who 
is the supervisor of the drop-in center. Rosalie Marshall, who is an educator at the drop-in center. Ruth Waxberg, also an educator at the drop-in center. And Karen Ludwig, who is the director of program services at the Cummings And I'd like to call Dr. Lawrence Rosenberg to say a few words. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for the kind words of introduction. Je suis ravi de me joindre pour te lancer le programme d'autres incroyables par année, non seulement en raison des avantages considérables de cette initiative pour les personnes âgées, mais aussi parce qu'elle symbolise tout ce que nous pouvons accomplir à l'EPS de travail en équipe et de la collaboration. For nearly one and a half years, our healthcare network, the CS Central West of Montreal, West Central Montreal Health, has been gaining maturity and momentum as its member institutions are more accustomed to working closely for the benefit of all our patients, clients, and residents. Just as we've been breaking down silos within our network, we continue to be impressed by how much can we achieve in partnership with the broad spectrum of individuals and organizations. Notably, Anthony Postmother, David Vermont in the city of Port St. Luke, Hampstead, and the Cummings Center. Je suis également emballé de savoir que le programme de haute récréative pour un jour clé Central Montreal Health, and especially on behalf of the many users and caregivers who will benefit from this program, I would like to extend my warmest thanks. Congratulations. And now I'd like to call upon our neighbor, our mayor from Hampstead, Bill Steinberg. Problems of speaking last is everyone said everything there is to say, but I do want to flag one thing. Um, the initial, the genesis of this project started about a year ago. It was exactly a year ago, we had a meeting. Uh, all the uh, players who were represented were there, and in particular, uh, at the time, Bearhead's father was there, and he suggested, well. We should have a program to take care of our seniors and the caregivers, and we should do it in Cote St. Louis. Uh, and then he's also suggested we should try to get a grant. And then basically, he even decided to take a cut in salary and grant to become a member of parliament so he could really make sure this happened. So I, I, I think there are a lot of people who have all been involved, but. Uh, John has done more than uh, their, that's like their member of parliament, Anthony Ho's father. So a special big thanks to him. Uh, and I also agree, I mean, some people wonder, everybody knows Coach St. Luke is the home to for seniors, I think, than any community in Canada. Uh, but in Hampstead, we also have quite a number of seniors and we also have quite a number of caregivers, and so this is a very, very important program for our residents as well. And even if it wasn't, I tell you, come to look at how many This is very community at large. We want to be part of it. Thank you, everyone, very much. So, I'd like to call forward all those who spoke uh, today. 